Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will continue with the series of restaurant style appetizers that you can do at home. In my last episode, I did a vegan friendly appetizer that was kid friendly and delicious. In this episode, I will do a surf and turf that you all are gonna just love. So if you all would like to see how to prepare this delicious and amazing appetizer, join me and let's cook. Uh-huh. <laughs> The first item we will prepare will be caramelized onions. I already have a saute pan heating, so I'm gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil along with some red onions. While the onions are sauteing, we could go ahead and get started with our sauteed mushrooms. So once again, a little bit of olive oil, red onions, off with a splash of lemon juice and then give it a mix the mushrooms are done the liquid has reduced so we're going to go ahead and um, season it with a little bit of salt pepper butter and fresh thyme I'm just going to give it a quick toss Make sure it gets coated with all that delicious butter in there. Wow, it is delicious. I'm just gonna finish it off with a pinch more salt and pepper and we'll be good to go. All right, and next step, we're gonna make a horseradish cream sauce. So, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of horseradish. About one tablespoon of yogurt. Pepper. Salt. Fresh tarragon. Just about a, I would say a quarter teaspoon of fresh tarragon. A pinch of red pepper flakes and quarter um, teaspoon of garlic. She is singing, yes! So we go ahead and flip. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful! Music to my ears, yes! Gorgeous! All right, the steak is done. So I'm just gonna let it rest here before I slice it. Just put it right on my cutting board over there. Just let it rest for a few minutes, for about five to ten minutes. So you just want to hold your knife at an angle, just like that. Let's do slice. All right, so it's time to plate up. So we're gonna have fun here. So I think for the first one, I'm gonna do a horseradish base. Caramelized onions. Let's 
steak. Oh, isn't that lovely? And then garnish it with some chives. Oh, that's gonna taste delicious. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'm not gonna taste it yet. And caramelize the onions first. to taste. I think we did a very good job today. What do you guys think? So as you can see, I made a variety of what you can do with the ingredients that you have. So you see I have some with the shrimp, some with both shrimp and steak, some with mushrooms. So just play with it, have fun, mix the flavors together, explore it, surprise yourself. All right, so I think the first one that I will try. Which one do you guys think? I can't choose, it's so many to choose from. Um, you know what, I'll go with the steak. So this one has horseradish sauce on the bottom with the caramelized onions and um, the steak. And then I, I garnished it with some chives and the sauce again. All right, bon appetit. Wow, so you have the tanginess of the horseradish sauce, and then the sweetness of the caramelized onions, and then the steak. It complements each other, and it's perfect. All right, so the next one I think I'll try is the one with mushrooms. It's not vegetarian, well, it's, um, it's vegetarian, but it's not vegan. All right, so let's give it a try. So I have the horseradish, sauce on the bottom, the caramelized onions, and then the mushrooms, and then garnished it with chives. Bon appetit! So that one was an experiment for me because I didn't, I was like, you know what, let me try horseradish sauce and the mushrooms together. I wasn't sure how that would work and it actually works. Right, so I think I'm gonna try a surf and turf, right? So this one has horseradish sauce, the caramelized onions, the steak and shrimp, and then garnish it with chives. Bon appetit! Wow. That is delicious. Mm. All right, so guys, thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for watching. So I decided to do these appetizers just to change it up a little bit, do something fun and exciting. So I really hope you all do try this dish. Please let me know in the comments below if you do. And once again, thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for your kind words and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye. That one was with only shrimp. Mm.